What's up guys, Mike here from Ecom Knives. And uh, it's the first time I'm doing one of these driving vlogs, vlogs. I was uh, watching YouTube earlier and I saw uh, John Grimsmo do one of these. And also uh, NYC CNC. And I don't know, driving home from another knife maker's house and kind of got inspired. Kind of turned the camera around. Hopefully it's not too bumpy and you can hear me. Oh, uh, we'll see. If you're seeing this, I guess it it passes. <laughs> so I'm driving home from uh, another knife maker's house, and he's working on uh, frame locks as well. The two of us are about at the same stage in the game as far as figuring out these frame locks. And uh, we've come to terms with both of us. Anyway, at least that's what I got from the from the talk that we really need to just focus on it we're so both of us are so worried about uh myself especially i don't want to speak too much on his part <laughs> but i'm so worried about just uh getting it done and getting it done in a timely manner but of course i want to get it done fast but i want to get it done right as well i'm working on the ninth or tenth edition of uh of the frame lock and uh there's a reason for that i could have stopped at number one and just kind of released it and worked out the kinks and went that way out of the 10 i got one that functions perfectly uh that i would not change anything about really uh but that's not good enough i want it to be better and as much as i i hear i hear all of you believe me saying when is it going to be done i want one when's it going to be done you haven't sold anything in a long time it's because of that frame lock uh i've just been working so much on it uh, i'm off i'm off from work this week and i've spent every day in the shop so far prototyping every single day <laughs> thinking that tomorrow will be the day i get it and then tomorrow comes and i don't get it and it's frustrating. It's super frustrating. Uh, and I know some of you guys are dealing with the same thing. It's It seemed like such a great idea and it worked out on paper and then come time to do it and it just doesn't work. So, I don't know. I got to kind of take a step back. Uh, I'm working on another one that seems very, very promising. Uh, this is attempt number two of this particular design. The first design I rushed, and the second design I slowed down and focused on what I'm doing. The only thing I'm worried about right now is execution. It kills me that there's so many of you that want a knife for me, and uh, I just can't make it. It, it's, it drives me up a wall. And uh, my fiance saw the frustration, in, in, I guess, in my eyes and, uh, and the flying blades in the shop the other day. And so, you know, why don't you just give it up? You know, go back to fixed place. Go back to something simple. Or maybe just take a break from the shop. And I said, I can't. Uh, there's no way I can walk away from that frame lock. I don't care if it takes me five years. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to figure it out. Come hella high water, I'm going to figure it out. So it was a nice, a nice little... Uh, Nice little chat with another maker, a local maker by me. Um, and we just kind of hashed things out together and, and thought of, well, what tools should we buy to, maybe this will help us or maybe we have to do this and kind of picked each other's brains and it was a, a great experience. It's nice to get out from behind your own shop and behind the lens of just, just me and go see what somebody else is doing. I, I don't know, that experience motivated me enough to turn the camera on on the way home so we'll see I don't want to make this too long and too crazy like I said I don't even know if this is coming out nice um, but if you're seeing it I guess it's good enough well I'm super rambly when I'm doing something else like driving who would have thought <laughs> I know the answer to that all of you all of you would have thought that it's no surprise that I'm rambling. Yeah, so anyway, 
I'm going to focus on, uh, on getting this done. And I'm going to do what it takes to get it done. And come hell or high water, I'm going to release that folder. So this one seems promising. And I want to do it without any additional tooling. You know, we kicked around the idea of buying CNC machines. And uh, it's just a lot of money and it takes a little bit away from it. Uh, maybe down the road, I, I don't do water jet, I don't do CNC, I don't do any of that stuff. I do band saw and grind. There's nothing wrong with CNC, there's nothing wrong with water jet. But if I can't do it without it, then I feel like I skipped a step. I'm trying to run before I walk, so to speak. You know, going from a crawl. I want to follow the steps. I want to learn the hard way. And then worry about productivity and price and, and all that stuff later. So, uh, I brought him a couple of blanks that I heat treated in my mini oven. And I had high hopes for it. I thought I did a great job on them. Followed some recipe I found on the internet. And they rock weld at about 55. Which is garbage. <laughs> Definitely not anywhere near hard enough. So, that's another thing. I gotta take my step back and uh, figure out my heat treating for my prototypes. I'm gonna continue doing my heat treat through Peter's uh, professional heat treater. We actually measured some of his, the guy wants to see has a Rockwell tester. We actually measured some of Peter's heat treat that I uh, asked for a 6061 and they came out right on the money. So it's definitely an issue with how I'm doing it. And I want to, uh, I want to fix that. I'm hitting all these bumps. I'm noticing the vibration. So, sorry if it's uh, super vibrating. Vibrating. <laughs> what a hokey setup! I got you guys jammed in my vents on one of those little cell phone holders. So anyway, all right, guys. I guess that's it. I'll, I'll wrap it up for now. But that folder is coming. Just kind of wanted to share what was on my mind, and uh, just in case you guys care. <laughs> Alright guys, this is Mike here from Ecom Knives, and I'll catch you on the next video.